Hey, 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 it is Friday. This is Dow Welsh welcoming you to Make Your Own Headline. Sponsored by Gus Polinski and the Kenosha Kickers and the letter C. So do you have to use any stairs today? I am super thankful for my house, but I really don't like the stairs. It's just disheveling that there are 15 steps from my bedroom to get down to the kitchen. And then there's 15 steps back up after I've grabbed a late night snack of cake or pie or a bowl of wheatgrass. On the positive side, if I ever fall down the stairs, I'll just be in the kitchen faster. Anna Lori Harrell doesn't like stairs either. She read an article this week about steps and stairs. She grew up in an old downtown house and she was a wee bit scared of the stairs that went down to the garbage cans in the alley. She came up with 50 zillion reasons to never take the trash out at night. And since those childhood days, she's never really cared for stairs. There was this one time, though, years ago when her family was stationed at Fort Bragg. A C-5A super transport plane visited Pope Air Force Base, and she got a chance to tour the plane. She said the stairs in that monster-sized aircraft were covered with something like a gritty sandpaper on the steps, and you couldn't slip if you wanted to. King David was having a rough time. Like someone whose business is struggling, or a parent who's crazy frustrated with their kids, or a grandparent facing difficult health issues, David felt overwhelmed and helpless, like he was drowning. Then something happened. In Psalm 40, he wrote this, God drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. You know, I've never found myself in the fire swamp in a mess of quicksand. But if I was, I don't think I'd call out to my wife, Honey, can you throw me a roll of duct tape? It'll fix anything. No, when we're desperate, we need ultimate help. We may not like where the stairs lead. We may not like where the path turns. But someone said there's a world of difference between quicksand and rock. So if you're having a rough time right now, in the car or at your house or quietly in your cubicle, cry out to God and come to Jesus. Because with Jesus, you couldn't slip if you wanted to. Make that one of your headlines today.